here we go magnet fishing time i'm at the commercial harbor uh sunset harbor sunset marina whatever you like to call it there's tons of different names for it but this is um this is the the busiest boat ramp in ocean city uh but if you are not sure um familiar with this boat ramp here's the parking lot <clears throat> i'll kind of walk you through it because it's it's pretty insane so in the summertime the traffic goes all the way down to the cat dealer it's all these are filled with uh boats boat trailers they park in the grass over there they park along the street right here it's absolutely insane how busy this place is so we're gonna get to it and see what we can find i'm gonna do the same as last time i'm not gonna do over here because i didn't really find much over there before there's a sail elo eloisha or something a sailboat that goes right here so that dock is not really used too much it's pretty much only for those customers so i'm gonna do this one the one in the middle and then the one on the very end Let's start with this one first. It is freezing cold out today. It's like 26, 27 degrees right now, somewhere in there. And then the high is supposed to be, I think 36. It's absolutely nuts. Considering like a couple days ago, it was 65 degrees. So I got two pairs of gloves, my rubber ones, and then these insulated ones, just because I don't feel like freezing. Last time I was here, I pulled out a bunch of wrenches. So we'll see what they have on this one. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna work my way around. I'm gonna go all the way around to this side, and then I'll start on the other one, do the same thing, just keep working my way around. Let's get started. Tons of metal, corroded metal, little washer, fishing tackle. corroded metal someone's glasses strap more metal I'm gonna work this area pretty good for a little bit. Oh, there's something good. Try to get it out. Something real good pretty heavy. Nah, it just came off. Yep. It's far out too, so even if I had something to get it, I'd, there's no way I'd have to go out and swim out there. And I am absolutely not doing that. I was talking to a subscriber. He was talking about bringing some type of hook or something uh, to get all this stuff out. Here's my problem that I've been trying to figure out. Hopefully someone's got some awesome idea that I would totally do it too. The, the, a lot of the stuff is stuck in the mud. So if it's stuck in the mud, I need something that has a hook on it to pull it up and something to get it out of the mud. Which hopefully someone's got an idea. I was thinking maybe a piece of wood with like a couple hooks on it where I could scrape it along the bottom and try to get it out. have something good and it's uh it's definitely stuck 
in the mud I'm trying to free it now to see if it will come out but the magnet keeps slipping off so whatever it is it's been in there for a little while yeah the magnet won't even It's something long because you can feel the magnet kind of like skip and then it skips and gets stuck again. So I am not sure what it is. Keep trying. I mean, I'm pulling it pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Let me try it again work on it for a little bit that thing is heavy whatever it is I mean you see how hard I'm pulling it come on man get out Is it like an engine or something? Holy crap. It's moving. I got it to move. It's now, yeah, it's now right here. It was over there. Might have to get my truck, try to pull it out. So whatever it's on, it comes up and then it gets stuck. And then to try to pull it back down, it, you feel it like sink to the bottom. So I've pretty much exhausted all efforts. It's stuck in there really good. So I'm gonna, uh, I got ratchet straps in my truck. I'm gonna ratchet the rope to it and try to pull it out. See if I can get it to move. I'm gonna go nice and slow to try to, to pull it out. The only thing I'm worried about is at the end of the ramp, where it says end of ramp, go another like six inches over. And this is the true end of the ramp. I can feel it with my magnet. So I'm hoping whatever it is, it's gotta go up and over that hump if I can get it out. So, all right, give me a second. Clueless on what it is. It could be a, a engine of some sort that's down there, but uh, pretty much I tied it up ratchet strap to the main rope and then the magnet was in there and as soon as i went a couple feet the magnet just popped right off so no clue what it is i can't even see down there it's too murky to find out what it was a little turn of events here i need my gloves again so last couple say 15 minutes i've been down where it was with the magnet seeing if i could try to find it i can't find it so it moved so I'm trying to figure out where it moved to. Did it get stuck on the end of the ramp? Did it somehow go further out and shift? But it, whatever it was, it's, it's definitely moved. So let's see if we can try to find it located again. If I moved it, that's good. That means I can pull it out with the truck, but I just have to find it and make sure it did move. So we'll see what happened. I threw it to the same exact spot that it, it was at and it's not there. Maybe, it, I don't know if it like rolled over or something. I don't know. There's like no sign of this thing. Oh yeah, side note. I found the other piece of the glasses that I found earlier when I was searching for this, whatever this thing is. The magnet goes to it, but I think whatever it was that I pulled, it um, it rolled, and the part isn't magnetic anymore. It's got to be because I can feel something down there when I'm pulling it in, and it just kind of like goes right, yeah, right here, just goes right over it. Try it one more time. Yeah, you can definitely feel it right here. Yep. 
No idea. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. Grab my bucket. Give me a second, I'm gonna grab my bucket, park the truck. All right, back in action. Let me pick up the sunglasses thing and the battery. And then on the way out, um, I think what I'm gonna do is just contact DNR and just uh, let them know. I'm not sure what it is. It's probably about seven feet from the end, um, but I would hate to have someone hit that or something to happen and I knew it was there and I never said anything. So I'll alert them, contact them, and then they are free to do whatever they want with it. I haven't found anything over here. Usually you can just heave it right off the end and that's where you'll find the most stuff. Stuff that's kind of like drifted down and out. Well, that's not good. <laughs> A cotter pin. Hopefully it didn't go to anything important. It's brand new too. Clean. All right, I'm gonna hit up the other side. So I have this one and one more, that little tiny one at the end. I don't usually get anything over there. So if I don't see much on this one, I don't think I'll run out there and do that one. A shell. I was stuck to some rocks. Get all these off. It's a piece of a crab trap. <laughs> One of those little hot hands. <laughs> I don't even, well, it's magnetic. I didn't know hot hands were magnetic, but they are. <laughs> it's probably the, the heating element to it. it has some metals in it. That's so strange. I had no idea. I don't know what it is, but this ramp, the last one, the furthest one down from the bathrooms, if you if you know the ramps well, is extremely muddy. I'm trying to go right along just about at the end of the ramp and see if there's anything that is kind of stuck in in between the gap of the end of the ramp the ramp itself. Look at all that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, one last heave and then I'm gonna call, call DNR, let them know what's going on. I don't know the policies of filming them. I'm not going to film them, but uh, as soon as I talk to them, I'll let you know what they say. Last pull, a washer. That's it. All 
All right, let me pack up, get out of here. I'll call them and let you know. All right, I'm out of here. I called DNR. They said the officer was going to call me back. So if I hear anything or anything else, I'll just put it in the description and update it. So that's where it is right at the very end right there. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, I'll see you later.